if you have a CD Spark, check this out. This is an STL file on Thingiverse, which I will add into the description or a picture or something I'll put in here. <clears throat> it actually fits right here in this gap between your instrument cluster and the wiring harness, and it fits on top of this box or your little emergency kit. It does fit with the emergency kit as long as you do it in the way that I'm going to show you. So this is actually a really good guide. This little lip right here, you can kind of cut it back. Uh, I do highly recommend that you print this off first. And after you do, you can place it inside of here. I've already got mine mocked up. So mine already had a switch cut out and there was a like USB um, charging port in here, which I've taken out. But as you can see, it fits in here quite well. Now you can actually hold a, you know, modern day smartphone and not your, you know, tiny little smartphones. It does actually fit in here really, really well. This is printed out of Pet G and it shouldn't warp and it shouldn't come apart. And if it does, I will take it out and I will reprint another one and then I will coat it in some kind of epoxy. But I'm just gonna just kind of bolt this in here. I've got these little like six millimeter um, out stainless steel Allen heads with a nylon insert so they don't back out, which I think it's overkill to have eight of these in here, but that's how the uh, file printed out. So that's how I'm gonna put it in. Uh, as you can see, the kind, the top of mine, I cut it a little high, oopsie. No big deal though. If this works out really well and this doesn't break, I can just epoxy um, resin that in and just fill in all the gaps, no big deal. But yeah, this is how you uh, make a CD Spark actually hold a, I'm holding the S21 Ultra, and it definitely does not fit in this box in any way, shape, or form. After I get this in there and I set it in there how I want it, I'm going to take this cap, and when I put it back on, I trust this not at all. <laughs> so I'm going to have probably like those JDM front bumper quick disconnects where it's like a, a loop and it's got like a circle and it kind of goes over. I'll probably do something like that across to keep this from popping off and then it'll just be like a quick and just kind of throw it off to be able to access my phone. But I ride this thing pretty hard and this has never popped off, but it'll be my luck that this will pop off um, after I roll it because I have rolled it one time and it didn't come off, but it was concerning. So, yep, I'm gonna get this bolted in and that'll be all right, and just like that, it is in. Nice little extension. It is not touching anything crucial. It's very solid. I mean, I'm shaking the whole trailer and jet ski and everything just by grabbing the box. So, I mean, it's pretty nice. Very roomy in there. I haven't thrown my phone in there, but I have no reason to believe that it won't fit. Very nice. There's all the deck in there. The whole fist goes into this box. Um, it's about the same storage capacity as this container. Um, and the container, like I said, fits. Just barely. But fitting is fitting. Doesn't matter if it's barely or not. So, there you go. Sea Dew Spark owners, rejoice. We finally have somewhere we can put our phones. You don't have to mount it up here. You don't have to do nothing. This is also printed out of Pet G. Hopefully, this lasts. I kind of buggered it up on the side, but. I might print it out of ABS later if it doesn't last, if it warps or anything, but hey, we're gonna see how it goes. Stainless steel hardware, got my switch back in there for my sound system that doesn't work. I'll talk about that later. But here you go, easy peasy.